this summer, Osada-san and I went on a long road trip across the U.S. We started on the East Coast in New York and drove all the way to L.A. on the West Coast. We've uploaded a ton of vlogs from the trip, but today I want to put it all together and look back on everything. Put on your seatbelts and get ready for a wild ride. We're going to be speeding right through. Let's go! First, let me show you guys exactly what we were about to do. From Japan, we flew out to New York where we picked up our rental car. We drove down to Washington, D.C., then to Asheville, North Carolina, then west to Nashville, across to Memphis, down to New Orleans, over on to Houston, Texas, Austin, Texas, across to Marfa, then through El Paso, a quick stop at White Sands and to Santa Fe, into the Grand Circle, back down to Sedona and Phoenix, and over to the West Coast to our final destination, Los Angeles. And here's a little something to give you a perspective on size. It's a big country. But luckily, we had a whole month to do it. So after spending a couple of days in New York, our first drive was to Washington, D.C. We'll get away to a place where we Zero miles. <laughs> what was supposed to be like a 15 minute break turned into a couple of hours. So by the time we got to DC, it was pitch black. We're in DC, yay! Yay! The next day, we took a 30 minute drive to eat some crab. Yes, instead of visiting all the cool museums that DC has to offer, we chose to eat crab. Because in my book, food always comes first. But we did get to see the president drive by that evening. <laughs> the next morning, we decided to jog around the capital to do some quick last minute sightseeing. And we ended up renting bikes to make it even quicker, which was a great idea, by the way. We're heading to. Asheville, North Carolina. Country roads, take me home. Moving southwest into North Carolina, we headed to Asheville, a city that I hadn't even heard about until I started planning for this trip. It was such a change in scenery from DC. I mean, we were sleeping next to alpacas. So? Asheville was a super artsy, hippie town with cute cafes and vintage bookstores, and crazy bus tours. No! Oh, and we can't forget about the delicious donuts! Donut coma. Drive three hours west, and Asheville turns into Nashville. This was one of our favorite cities. It was such a great mix of new and old. You can go to Broadway, get some cowboy boots, and go to a honky tonk to listen to some live music all night long. recently developed areas for photogenic wall art, stylish cafes, and amazing bagels. You really get the best of both worlds here. Next is Memphis, and although it looks a little similar to Nashville, it was a bit edgier and a lot more Harley Davidson. Vroom, vroom. And of course, Gus's fried chicken. Seriously, the others just won't do after you've had a bite of their crispy, tender, juicy deliciousness. <laughs> oh, and remember little Elvis? He made us want to go visit Graceland. So we did. Everybody, let's rock. Unfortunately, it closed right as we got there. But the gift shop was open. Thank you very much. After an extremely wet drive into the wetlands, we reached another new state and music scene. You know you make me wanna shout. New Orleans. We did have a little mix up at the hotel with our reservation. We actually have a note in our system here that your reservation was canceled. Remember that? But it all worked out in the end, as you guys know. Got my African bones reading. I'm supposedly going to have three kids. Three? What? We also had an awesome modern Creole breakfast where Osadistan had fun building his own Bloody Mary. We also ate gumbo and savored a beignet in the French Quarter. Really doughy. Oh, I just bit my cheek. Now we are heading to Houston. Texas! 
the second largest state in the US, and it definitely felt large. Whoa, we first started in Houston, where Osaru san couldn't hold back his excitement as he explored NASA. So excited. Then we drove over to Austin, another one of my favorite cities now, where we stayed in the cutest Airbnb. This is actually quite comfortable. Tada! It was a little cozy, but we loved it, especially the outdoor theater. And of course, we can't forget the bat cruise. Something I totally did not think I would enjoy, but did very much. Oh my god. There's supposed to be 1.5 million. Whoa! Yeah. Okay, I've never seen anything like this before. Oh, oh We also had a fancy dinner at the Whole Foods flagship. Kampa, y'all. Super spicy tacos at a food truck park. <laughs> Cupcakes and lemonade. The frosting is so so soft and a traditional barbecue lunch at Salt Lake. That barbecue is <laughs> Bye, Austin. I had a lot of fun. So after our very meaty meal, we headed to Marfa. Well, it was such a long drive that we didn't actually get there that night. We had to stop by a small town and look for a motel to stay in. Do you guys remember this? No vacancy. Yup. Everything was absolutely booked, so we ended up sleeping in the car. To get ourselves refreshed from the uncomfortable night in the car, we headed to Balmoria State Park near Marfa, where we found this really cool pool. They made a part of a river a pool. Osare-san no okiniiri spot number one. We finally got to Marfa, where we stayed at this really cool glamping site. Because we went on a weekday, there really wasn't much going on, but the fact that there's this little town in the middle of nowhere with all these surprisingly trendy restaurants and contemporary art and this very peculiar Prada shop is what makes Marfa cool, I guess. White sands! My favorite spot on this whole entire trip. Wow, this was the most incredible place I've ever been. I just want to hold you. From this pure white and blue, the scenery is going to change drastically as we head up north. Monumento Bare! Let's go! For the next week, everything's gonna be red, brown, and orange. In Santa Fe, we happen to stumble across its largest festival of the year, the Indian Market. What a pleasant surprise. When we got to Monument Valley, we stayed in a really cool teepee where our Airbnb host took us on an amazing hike. Thanks, guy. I'm very good at this. We showered in the holy light at Antelope Canyon, among many, many tourists. Got some amazing pictures at Horseshoe Bend and stayed at this charming cottage at the Grand Canyon. With no Wi-Fi or reception to keep us busy, we spent a relaxing morning rocking back and forth in the creaky rocking chairs on our porch. The Grand Canyon was definitely a sight to see. I wonder if you hear me. But after all that nature, I was kind of ready to get back to civilization. And Sedona was the perfect next stop. Because we could still enjoy the beautiful landscapes of Arizona, but being more of a resort town, we now had a very fancy room to stay in. Oh my gosh, there's a jacuzzi! And some very gorgeous restaurants to eat at. Itadakimasu. I'm jealous you. Get all that juice. Next, we headed over to Phoenix to pick up the girls. Let's go! Everyone's gonna be together. It's gonna be a lot of fun. They're here! Sita! <laughs> we had a nice dinner to celebrate our first night, followed by a slumber party with ice cream that wouldn't quite open. The next morning, as we were live streaming us getting ready, Mischievous little monkey. Oh my god! Okay, guys, we are heading to LA, our final destination. Let's go! Which brings us to the very last leg of our road trip.
It is so hot. It's the hottest place I've been to on this trip. Let me love you now. Yeah, you're the one that I want. I wanna stay here. I wanna stay here with you. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna stay here with you. Los Angeles is about 50 minutes. I'm sad that it's over, but very happy that <laughs> that I can end it with my best friends in the back. It's so dark back there. <laughs> We're off the freeway. Santa Monica. Oh, Santa Monica? Oh, we're already in Santa Monica. So we're gonna start live streaming. <laughs> Guess what? We're in LA! Oh, Los Angeles is in the Mashta! Oh my god! There it is! There's the pier! Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're here. We came from New York. That's crazy. Take me out to California. We drove through cities, wetlands, deserts. In sunset, in the pitch black, in rainstorms, and under the blazing hot sun. So today, okay, that's good. Woo! Look at it, cowboys. We met a bunch of great people. Everyone was so friendly and welcoming wherever we went. And we also ran into a bunch of chica homos along the way, which was my favorite part. Thank you guys for saying hello. Oh, there it goes. Okay, we're going. Okay, we're going through. Podimas. Zita! Zita! See, she's waving. I am a little sad, but I still have some footage that I haven't edited, so I'll be uploading flashback road trip videos next year. And also, big news! I can't believe it's all over! It was a lot of work to upload daily, but I'm so glad that I got to share the entire experience with you guys, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did and felt like you were traveling with us. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. See you soon. Kami no ge nobita.